Sadly, politics has steamrolled into every aspect of West Haven life, and our Board of Education is no exception to this fact. We live in a community where it is always who you know and not always who is best when it comes to many of our new hires. Granted, there have been some exceptions to this rule of political thumb, but they are few and far between. We live in a community where in many cases custodial and maintenance personnel are actually earning more in wages than the majority of our teachers. And we live in a community where talented young teachers are pushed out time and time again in favor of entrenched veteran educators whose primary focus has become, in many cases, protecting their wages and benefits. We live in a community that allows our Board of Education to close schools claiming cost savings and then still manages to overspend its budget by over $600,000. And we live in a community where all but one of its elementary schools is listed as failing under the federal No Child Left Behind Act. Public education is a work in progress in all communities and West Haven is no exception to this. However, accountability starts in the classroom. Shame on us if we continue to allow new talent to slip away. Shame on us if we continue to allow our teacher wages and benefits to continue to be out of balance with other systems. Shame on us if we are not raising our classroom standards in order to prepare our students for the competitive world in which we all live, rather than lowering them in search of federal dollars. Shame on us when our students are still using out-of-date textbooks and in many cases bringing home photocopied pages instead of workbooks. Every year, West Haven sends hundreds of students to college. The bigger question is, how many students are in fact prepared? I'm Stephen Mullins, I'm running for mayor of West Haven, and I approve this message.